Hey everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my review of Batman Annual Number Two, Date Nights Last Rites. Now, this is a wonderful annual. It almost fits in with the current continuity, but not quite. Here on the cover, Batman and Catwoman falling out of some window. And the, I'm not sure if it's near nighttime or what because it's, you know, there's nothing in the background. Maybe it's light. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's, you know, a bright light from, you know, you know from the city. Who knows? But let's get into the story. Now, we start off at the current, I don't believe that the current continuity before, you know, they're married and Catwoman is sneaking into the Batcave because she wants to take a joyride. And she says, meow. So she starts up the Batmobile and takes it and takes it for a ride and then Batman is out interrogating some bad guy so and he gets a call on the comm from Alfred Master Bruce busy yes I'm aware of your current busyness however I thought you should be made aware that it seems we have a problem with the car and look at the 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 expression on her face she loves it and so batman says the bat car, the batmobile how does the car look sir the batmobile will be fine batmobile sir is that what we're calling it so I guess the first time for this new continuity the Batmobile actually gets gets a name there's a mouse she left a mouse squeak squeak and so later on sir I thought we would agree today would be a day of rest last night when I turned him over to Gordon Nigma asked what has been played? I believe it's a code. Convert the letters to numbers and sir you have not have you not a mild concussion, a bruised rib, and a serious abdominal laceration? Riddler is in jail. You should be in bed. Bruce says the look on his face as he said it as he was taken away. He was satisfied, content. You know that look, Alfred. Yes, Master Bruce. I believe I saw it once, many years ago. Ha <laughs> ha! What has been played, he's thinking. Wait. Francis Watt, the second b baseman for the Gotham Knights. Didn't he miss his last start? And so, you know, he, he's the world's greatest detective. And then he... He fact because he, he he knows something's not right. He just laid his pen down, and then he reaches over for it again, and sa he says the pen is gone. Alfred's like, is it? Shall I alert the Superman, or perhaps we might look under the sofa? She's here, Bruce says. Sir. Meow. Dining room. He jumps over the couch. This is it. This is hilarious. He says, "Stop! No, I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. This is ridiculous. That you think you can catch me? I agree. <laughs> I am going to catch you. No, you're not. Because he's going all through all throughout Wayne Manor." At the, as fast as he can trying to catch Catwoman I meant to tell you I want 
I wanted to be nice, you know, after what happened with the car. So I called the cops on myself before I broke in, which I think is very generous. Anyway, they should be pulling up right about now. And won't they be excited to see me go, go right out the front window? Oh, and won't they be surprised to see you follow Bruce Wayne? There he stopped dead in his tracks. Look at the expression on his face. He realizes he cannot be connected to Catwoman. And so she dives out of Wayne Manor and she says, Bye bye, Bat. Thanks for the pen. <laughs> and the Gotham City Police Department see her dive and they're all like, What in the world should we do? And then Bruce says, There she is. No, 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 that's not him speaking. It's the Gotham City Police. There she is. I got her. Stop, miss. Stop. We have her. Put your hands where I can see them. Wait, don't. You can't. How did she? Can't anyone? Does anyone see her? Squeak, squeak. Another mouse. All right, scan the area, he said. All right, scan the area, they said. I want Roblox. I want dogs. She does not get away. Squeak, squeak. Move, people, move. I need this yesterday. Stop standing and move, damn it. She is not getting away. Squeak, squeak. Bruce is coming up with an idea of how to find her. And later, the new alarms I installed. Four of them failed, but the fifth redundancy, she's back. I'll hide the pencils, Alfred says. <laughs> she's in the bedroom. I've locked the doors and the gates. There's no way out. It's over. And Alfred says, please let her know if she leaves another mouse. It's only proper to leave some money to feed the bloody thing. Ha ha ha! Hilarious. And he comes in and says, so the safe you hide, but don't hide well. The one behind the Goya, she says, that's full of pretty jewels and quite a bit of money. You're trapped, he says. But the safe you hide very well. The one behind your fifth redundancy. It would be best if you surrendered peacefully, he says. In that safe, all we have is... A pearl. A single, rather scratched pearl. She's holding it up to see it in the light a little bit better. Why? she asks. And he says, it was my mother's. And he stands near the portrait. And so they start talking and he says she died. I know. Everyone knows. Yes, everyone knows. But I know. You shouldn't be here. My parents, my mother, she, my parents, my mother, she left. And growing up here in Gotham, I was astray. I was alone. Like you. After they left, after a while, did you ever have that moment where you don't know anything else? Where you almost like this life? You like being by yourself? And then you think maybe it's better? Maybe it's okay? And then you hate yourself. You hate everything. Because it's okay. <laughs> and... What she says makes a little bit of logic. Why do you dress up as a bat? And he says, why do you dress up as a cat? I like cats. Everyone likes cats. They're soft. Who likes bats? No one. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be what everyone likes. You want people to be scared of you? It helps. I'm not scared of you. No, you're not. 
Do you know why I'm not scared? I do. Does that scare you? Yes, it does. So you're scared of a cat? Shouldn't I be? Of course not. Remember, everyone likes cats. Right, because they're soft. Hmm. And look at, look, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork. And she says, why do we fight? Why don't we not fight? You steal things, he says. You're a criminal. And being a masked vigilante of the night, that's completely legal? I'm trying to help, he says. Are you? Well then, so am I. Please, you, no. You shouldn't touch my belt. No. No. Alfred, she, she set off one of her smoke, uh, one of my smoke bombs. I can't check the computers, the doors, the locks. Are they holding? No, sir. Is there any sign of the Catwoman where she went? No, sir. Damn it. Squeak, squeak. Is it that? This is so funny. Later, and uh, Alfred's humming some tune. Some of these days you'll miss your honey. Some of these days you'll feel so lonely. You'll miss my hugging. You'll miss my kisses. You'll miss me, honey, when you go away. Then, I feel so lonely just for you. He sings as he looks up. For you know, honey, you've had your way. And when you leave me, I know you'll grieve me. You'll miss your little honey. And so, some of these days, she leaves, I believe. No, she's, and she's going back into the mansion, I think. And she says herself again and again. The artwork and every page is just spectacular, in my opinion. And before she can get inside the ma mansion, we have this beautiful splash page, which should be a painting. And there's Batman, who just says, Why? There's Catwoman on the on the right. He wants to know, you know, why does she keep breaking in, you know? And so she says, you know, you should appreciate all this. You ever try palming a live mouse? They're very squirmy. Why? He says, hmm. Isn't it obvious? Because you're weak. You need to be better. I have to make you better. I have to teach you where you're weak. Or you're going to die, Catwoman says. I see it every time I see you, she says. And I see you more than you know I see you. That's really creepy. You're so good. You've trained so well, she says as she does some acrobatic flips over his head. You've mastered just about everything you can master. But under that, the cape, the mask, under there, you're still the poor little rich boy in the house on the hill. All that pain from being alone. You're still the sweet darling mouse who can't quite see the cat coming he says you don't know me and you don't know me she says now that her outfit looks a little bit lighter here but I think it's because she just landed in 
water and of course it's raining I know enough he says well bat sometimes knowing enough is just enough to want to know more you know, she's trying to outrun him he says why do you care if I live or die she says do you care if I live or die it's different we're different no bat that's just it that's all of it under there we're just the same No, I. Cat. Cat! Cat. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. She leaves another mouse. She wanted, I believe she wanted him to find her. Later, she's in her apartment, takes off her mask, and he goes, Squeak! <laughs> and she face palms herself and says how he says your souvenirs the lead signature in their droppings traced back to the paint used in this apartment mouse poo she says yes mouse poo <laughs> and it doesn't take four mice to produce droppings does it you've known since the beginning and you still let me why because sometimes I like being alone and then I hate everything because I like it you saw me I see you great glad you get it and you and me the two orphans lost who seek the weak in one another and now you want to what help me no I don't want to help you the embrace oh and then the kiss yes the kiss Batman and Catwoman embracing in the dark of night and she drops her arm spilling her wine and the cat and her cat I which is all which by the name is her name her name's Isis rubs up against Batman's leg and for your information those who may be wondering her cat was named several decades ago And he says, hello, hello. Remember the first time we met? Did you think it would lead to this? He says, I remember you on the boat when your mask came off. You were, you are lovely. What? On the boat? No, Bat, remember? We met on the street. No, no, you're wrong. We met on the, they can't seem to agree on this. <laughs> but the but it's but look look at him smiling and this is it says up at the top later but this is not just later this is years later he says boat she says it wasn't you're wrong you can see how much older he is at this point when I was 16 years old I trained with the memory of the mountain. For a year I sat with this man learning how to forever encode my senses on my mind. I was his first pupil. He said whoever exceeded him, that's what he said. Well that's very nice, Bat. And we still met on the street. No cat. Remember? We were and look at them holding hands. So lovely. Then a doctor comes in and who says we have all the results now I'm afraid and 
They're now outside, going back to the car. The memory, he says, of the mountain had a three-pack-a-day habit. I was supposed to be in this months-long trance, but he'd kicked me every few days, waking me up, asking me to go down the mountain to get him a few more cartons. Of course, I wasn't allowed money or possessions or anything, so I'd have to steal them. And there was one store within hundreds of miles. The third time I lifted a carton, they knew what was going on. So I started using disguises. But I didn't have money for the disguises, so I had to steal those. And you can see Catwoman. Selena Kyle, she's starting to, you know, face palm, and she, and she's she's not happy. I think Bruce stops his story and she turns to her and she says, "I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. I'm fine." And they hug and embrace. And you can. This is during the fall. You can tell the the autumn time. And then he starts his story back up. So there was this local woman who had a, she had a collection of wigs in a locked trunk. <laughs> I think possibly Selena's adding to the story because he's getting to the point where he might not remember it all. A collection of wigs in a locked trunk. And then I think this is the same time period or because it doesn't say later but it's definitely it's definitely not the same I spoke to Zatanna and she went on the wherever she goes beyond here she says there's not really anything to do she says it's everyone has a time she says dad got his and so that's Selena, Catwoman, much older it seems, she's just looking out over the balcony and she says, I'm sorry I have to, Helena, I was, I am your father's wife, I understand, just go, yes mother. And for those who may not know, Helena Wayne was the huntress on Earth 2, the other universe. However, in the, pro the the current continuity, which is Earth Prime, the Huntress is Hel Hel Helena. Um, oh, I have trouble pronouncing the last name. It's I, it's long, name. but anyway, so this might introduce Helena Wayne back or Helena Wayne. How, how do you pronounce it? Back into the continuity, and she's dressed like the current Batwoman. Only, she has brunette hair, or at least wearing she's a wearing a brunette wig because that's what the, the Batwoman does, the current one. So the the bat signal is up in the sky. So this character goes off, and Selena Kyle just looks down at the city below. Not with a smile on her face. And she's back inside. I think it's the same time because, you know, it doesn't say later. And Bruce says, somewhere out there, there's another Earth where I never got old or married or sick or anything. I'm always alone, always the Batman. And she just looks up at him and says, don't forget the light. He says, after you understand, after I want you to find Barry, then you have him find that other me out there, and that fellow will take care of you. That's what you should do. And he's referring to Barry Allen, the Flash. What I want for you to be happy and safe. Bat? Yes, Cat? You forgot the light? Yeah. I'll get it in a second. Just give me a second. Okay, she says. 
and you can tell that she's starting to fall asleep this is just such a precious story and there he is working out in his old age and he's he's singing that same song some of these days you'll miss your honey and he drops the barbell damn it some of these days you'll feel so lonely <coughs> bat I couldn't I can't what are you here to help me and she says the saying that she said years before no, I'm not here to help you. You'll mi you'll miss your little honey. She's there to kiss him. Another sweet embrace between Bruce Wayne and probably now Selena Wayne. That's just beautiful. And then So many people are gathered around, gathered around his bed. I'm guessing that's maybe uh, the daughter of Barbara Gordon. Maybe one of those is Nightwing, and maybe one of them is. I mean, one of them's that probably Dick Grayson. Another is probably Damian Wayne, and maybe that one's uh, the the Huntress of this universe. That's probably Batwing. And maybe uh, black, di uh, black canary. She just pats his, or, you know, runs her ha hand through his hair and says, "Shh, shh." And she says, "Good night, Bat. I love you." And you can see the tears streaming down her face. And she goes down to the bat cave, opens the car door to, I guess, the, the Batmobile of that time. And she hears a meow. And it's a little black cat. And she said, where did you come from, darling? What's this? And it's a, it's a, it's a note. I love you too, cat. From the first kiss to the last. Meow. Meow. And she knows that it was from Bruce. And that's the end of the story. And I have to admit, this was a tearjerker. It was. And I'm not a person who cries often. This was a beautiful story that Tom King wrote. He is doing so good on his Batman run. He's right now. I like this story even better than Doomsday Clock number one, which I think was a tremendous failure. I highly recommend that everyone go out and get Batman Annual number two because it's a romance story between a hero and a villain. The two come together as one. I, I want to hear from you guys. Did you enjoy this story? The artwork was superb all the way through. The dialogue was great because you know, this was a romance story. It wasn't a story of action or fighting or anything. Leave your comments below. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that bell like She-Hulk. And please do like this video and share it with others. Till next time, true readers.